Hello my dear fellow software developers, I'm back to my YouTube channel finally and we are going to continue learning AWS and Cognito. So uh, in the last video we created our private routes so now we can uh, log in to our application and uh, we show pictures only to authorized users. But the problem is that we are showing all the pictures doesn't matter which user uh, added them and we want to show to every user only his own pictures so let's start uh, with our backend let's open it and let's uh, run and you might see this error uh, serverless offline only supports retrieving token from the header and this is something in the library that we can't really fix uh, I mean we can kind of fix it adding property here to our serverless uh, file we can add this uh, no out through for our serverless uh, and it uh, will help us to run locally our backend without this error so let's restart it again and what we're gonna do now um, we want to get our user ID and uh, there are two approaches to this uh, we could create a table uh, in our application and in this table we could just save every user that uh, register and give it some custom user ID that will be unique but uh, you know that we already save our users to Cognito user pool they already have an ID there so let's open our user pool and uh, you can see we have some users and if we open one of them we can see all the metadata it has it has an email and it has an ID so uh, we could just use this ID from Cognito if you want to have some uh, special metadata for your users that you don't want or you can't save to Cognito then you can create a table and create an item a record for every user but in this tutorial we are going to keep it simple and we will use ID that Cognito provides us so uh, how do we get this ID let's uh, create a new lambda function that uh, will be a get user so uh, in this function we will fetch uh, all the data about our user that Cognito has so let's create a file let's uh, copy the stuff from our from our login function and let's rename it so um, what is common here uh, the common is that we are going to parse our body and we're gonna get we don't need this console log and we're gonna get uh, access token from our body and then using this access token we're going to get user data from cognito get user function so we are passing the access token here and again promise because it is all asynchronous and yeah we need an await here don't forget because I forgot it and what is next then we can just return this data and see what will happen so uh, this function we will call uh, when we already have our token saved uh, in our browser cookies and uh, when we refresh the page for example uh, and we want to fetch data about the user uh, we want to do this not only here in this get user function but also in our login function 
uh, where we get our authentication result and um, we want to call get user as well and merge response from get user with our authentication results so let's try to do that uh, let's just copy this and I don't remember what we had in our authentication response login and what we have here we have an access token and we can just pass it here so access token gonna be equal a response authentication result access token and then this data I'm just gonna add here let's go to our local host yeah let's run it first of course yeah and start and if you try to log in now uh, we are getting bad response so what's going on here okay we have this um, little bit fucked up serverless file where we have to replace our variables but honestly I'm a bit tired of this uh, so I'm thinking maybe we could figure out something to not replace it every time manually so I'm going to do a quick hack in our code uh, so um, if we are offline so if we are running locally um, then we're gonna gonna use this variable and in case if it's true we will just hard code our our user pool ID and we're going to do the same for user pool client so let's try now uh, let's see if we will be able to log in locally. I restarted the server. So let's go to our application. And let's try. Okay, we logged in. And if you go to network and see our login. Yes, you can see we've got this new little uh, think user attributes and we are getting here our ID our flag if email is verified and the actual email so um, I don't like how we return this I would just prefer to return an object with the property sub and or even let's rename it to ID and return this ID instead of this uh, user attributes array so let's quickly fix it in our get user and login i think we will create a little youtube function uh, format user attributes so we are accepting attributes and what we do we just will reduce through them and what we're gonna do we're gonna return our previous value value and from every attribute um, one more time what we got there name and value 
Okay, let's just destructure it. Name, value, and here we're gonna return name, value. Okay, so login, format, user attributes and we will name it the same and here where we destructure our data we will just wrap it with this thing data user attributes yeah okay Another thing that even we are uh, not successful with our response, we save our token as undefined and it shouldn't happen. And we will fix this little bug. Okay. Ah, now it worked. Amazing. So now we are getting our sub our email verified and our email just like uh, fields in this response and we want to do the same we want to wrap with this function our get user data as well and it's also gonna be not just data but user attributes so now we can just grab this id and use it when we add our pictures.